guys, this is Megan with the blog Wilsonhomestead.com and today I wanted to talk to you guys about what our family does for a natural and healthy dental routine. So this is just what our family does personally. It's what's been working really well for us. I recently had a bunch of dental issues when I was pregnant with this little miss. I've had three back-to-back -back pregnancies. I got pregnant with my when my first daughter was six months old, and then I got pregnant again when my son was nine months old. They're 15 months apart and 18 months apart. So it's been really back-to-back, -back and it's really depleted me of a lot of minerals. And during a pregnancy, it pulls four pounds of minerals out of your body. So if you don't give your body long enough to restore those minerals, you will be depleted. And the pregnancy will pull minerals from wherever, body, wherever in your body it can find them. It'll pull minerals out of your bones, make them more likely to break. It'll pull it out of your teeth, which is exactly what happened to me. So I had a lot of cavities when I was pregnant with her. This, she was my third pregnancy. I had to fill at least six cavities. I had a cavity that was so bad that I had to have it pulled and I had to have an implant put in. It was the one back here. So if you guys have watched some of my pregnancy updates with her, you already know this, but all this has kind of thrown me into this, all this research about dental health. We were already, I thought we were already doing a really good job. I've always made my own homemade toothpaste. I will link the recipe for you guys. It's really effective, but just with my extra needs right now, I found a few, I found a few other toothpastes that we've been really enjoying and that I feel like are really helping remineralize my teeth and making the microbiome in our mouths healthier. So obviously, first and foremost, you wanna make sure your diet is proper because what you're putting into your body and putting into your mouth and what you're absorbing and digesting is going to manifest in how healthy your teeth are. You wanna make sure you have a lot of bioavailable nutrients, things that are easy to digest, a lot of healthy fats like butter and ghee and lard and tallow are all things that are really healthy for your mouth microbiome and your teeth health. There is a lot more that I could get into about that, but I'm gonna recommend to you guys the book called Cure Tooth Decay if you wanna get into a little bit more of the diet side of your dental health. We recently went through the GAPS diet, which is really helpful, and now we're on more of a Weston A. Price diet, which if you guys know Weston Price, he was a dentist. And so this diet is kind of formulated for your dental health and your jaw and facial structure being proper. So the next thing that we do is I use a toothpaste called Revitin. It is a prebiotic toothpaste. It has different vitamins, it has CoQ10, it has prebiotics, and all kinds of awesome things. It's so good for your mouth microbiome. You have all kinds of live bacteria in your mouth, so you wanna be feeding the good bacteria because just like your gut, the bad bacteria can take over that can cause cavities and different things. So every night I use the Revitin toothpaste. So because I'm gonna be sitting, my mouth is just gonna be sitting overnight without anything in it, not eating anything, I use that at night to help build up the good bacteria before I'm gonna be sitting overnight. And then in the morning, I use a toothpaste called from Earthly. It is actually a tooth powder. It's a charcoal remineralizing toothpaste. I have a affiliate link for you guys. I will link that down below. So I use that in the morning after I drink my coffee to get off the coffee stains to help start remineralizing my teeth. So those are the toothpastes I use, the two toothpastes I use. The kids either use my homemade baking soda and hydrogen peroxide toothpaste, and again, I will have linked that down below. And they also started using a toothpaste called Risewell. It is a kid's, it, they have a kid's version that's able to be swallowed because that's really important with little kids. It helps remineralize and all these different awesome things I will link that one down below as well. So that one is a really good one for the kids. And then the next thing I do might be a little obvious. I feel like most people do this, but I used to be really bad about it is flossing. And it's actually important to floss before you brush your teeth. I used to always think that you floss after you brush your teeth, but you wanna floss before to loosen up any food or particles built up in between your teeth. So then you can brush it all off and rinse it off and it all goes away. <laughs> Cause brushing doesn't always loosen it up and then you floss and it loosens, but then you don't brush it again. So then it just stays in there. So it's actually important to floss first. So I floss once a day. I floss once in the evening. I used to be so bad about this. I would just not floss like ever and, until I got like really guilty about it and was like, fine, I'll floss. But then I would only floss after I brushed. So I have definitely changed my habits a lot with that. The next thing I do, is oil pulling and hydrogen peroxide 
sloshing, <laughs> if that's what you call it. So in the morning after I use my remineral remineralizing powder on my teeth, I will use hydrogen peroxide and swish it around my mouth for about five minutes. And hydrogen peroxide is a naturally whitening product. So it's natural and safe and healthy, but it'll help whiten your teeth naturally. It does not taste the best. It's not the most pleasant thing, but I have some stains on the front of my teeth that I'm really trying to get rid of. So that is something that's gonna be really helpful with that. And it's also a little weird how it foams a lot. It's not the most pleasant thing, but it is helpful. And then I do oil pulling at night. So after I've used my prebiotic Revitin toothpaste, I will use coconut oil. I melt it a little bit, not where it's hot, but just so it's a liquid. And then I slosh that around my mouth for about five minutes. You can work up to 10 and 15 minutes, but it's hard to do that at first when you're not used to it. And I will link some articles about why oil pulling is really helpful. And then I also tend to not use mouthwash very often. It t Mouthwash can actually be really damaging. It can kind of strip out all the natural bacteria and it can be just too harsh. So if I'm going to use mouthwash, I'll use a homemade one that's more gentle, not as strong. I'll use essential oils in it and different things and hydrogen peroxide. I will link my recipe down below for that, but you wanna use one that's just not super harsh and strong. So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing what we've been doing for our dental health and all of these products I have been recommended to me by friends and people that I really respect like Holistic Mother and all these accounts that I follow. So I will link some of my favorite accounts for dental health. I have learned so much. Instagram is such a great resource for some of this stuff. There's so many awesome accounts for holistic dentistry and just health in general. So all of these products were recommended by those people that I follow on there. And I gotta say, so far I'm an absolute huge fan of all these things that we've been using and I've been noticing a difference in my teeth. I've been noticing a difference in the sensitivity of my teeth. They used to be really, really sensitive and they're starting to get less so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>